Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech, and it is Ask Bain the video series where you can ask the questions on social media or in comments on my videos, and I'll answer those questions on video. And for this week's questions, I got two, and one comes from Daniel over on Twitter, and that is asking what are the apps that I use on a regular basis of my daily apps. Basically, the way that that goes is I have Nova Launcher, and I have about three different dock pages, and those have all my main apps on it. And I'll try to Put a link in the description of some of those screenshots or pics and whatnot but basically like i got my social media folder then i got a google folder and those are the two that i use the most and obviously social media because heavily involved with that with bain tech but also keeping up with friends and family like on facebook and whatnot instagram and also over on my google side i have you know gmail youtube the great new um, studio app that youtube put out and that's just been a really nice tool for YouTubers to use because it's actually the best way to respond to comments on videos. Now, other than that, other apps that I would say are notable would be Package Buddy because I got packages coming. It's really nice to keep track of all my stuff coming to me, and it's from multiple carriers, so you just don't have to uh, download the FedEx app, the UPS app, or the USPS app. You get it all in one shot, and you can add even it'll pick up all the different ones from every carrier even like DHL and all that so it's just really nice it's very convenient to have and keep up with the tracking of your packages other notable apps that I like to uh, point out is SquareDroid it's a nice app that does cropping for you for Instagram posts if let's say you take a picture and you want the whole picture in the picture without having to crop it out it'll size it to where you need it and it's just a very nice tool to have and I've used it for quite a while now. Other apps, uh, let's see, got PlayStation, very nice one to respond to messages, uh, to accept friends and also to see if any of my friends are online and see if I can join up with the game. Um, that's speaking of PlayStation, Call of Duty, that's a good one that I like to keep up with if Clan Wars comes around. It's a nice one to see how my team is doing. WordPress is another good one for me because I like to keep up with stats if I need to make any kind of on-the-go changes to any blog post. It's a great way to do it. Um, some other apps I could think of would just be actually stock ones or somewhat stock ones is Google Hangouts. Um, normally for a long time now, is especially since the integration with the SMS and Google Hangouts, I've been using that as my main text messaging app because it's all consolidated into one app. And I really like the look of it and the functionality of it better on, like, let's say the Note 3. Um, but with since I've had my OnePlus One, I've actually used the stock messaging app of that because I like it better and it works better with the notification um, drawer and whatnot. It just kind of works nicer, in my opinion. I like it better. Uh, Twitter, actually, I prefer to use Falcon Pro. I like the look of it. I like the functionality of it. It's got a tweet longer, uh, a lot of nice looks to it. I like the blacker look of it as well. And just kind of, I just like it better than the stock Twitter. Twitter, kind of the Android for Twitter one is just kind of boring to me. But anyways, those are some of the apps I use on a regular basis. And there's some more, but those I would say are the, the most I use. Now I would say one that I use seasonally, and that's with football season, ESPN Fantasy Football. Um, I'm a big fantasy football player fan. Uh, I really enjoy playing it. So that app gets abused during football season for sure. So the other question comes from Google Plus and uh, Mr. Hope. He said um, he has a one plus one and he's got like a yellow spot at the bottom of the screen. Now I have a yellow tint and I'm assuming that's what you mean is the yellow tint or yellow band is what other people are calling it as well. Now I reached out to one plus one support and they mentioned to me I think it was actually an automated message kind of system. I'm not really sure if I got a real person that I was talking to, but I'll show, um, or I'll put a link in the description of that dialogue. But the excuses were, you know, the tint of the screen, the hue and all that kind of stuff and how you can go into settings and fix the hue. I tried that, it doesn't work. So it's not a software issue, I don't think. And that's part of the question that Mr. Hope um, asked is if it's hardware or software, it's a hardware issue. Um, and it's, I believe I'm calling it a defect at this point and I'm actually trying to get a replacement because when I put my money into something, I want it to be uh, worth the money. And also, like there's been reports of people that don't have the yellow tint, so it's gotta be a hardware issue. And some people have said, you know, well, it's the glue not finishing right. 
try putting it under sunlight or UAV rays kind of lighting and I've tried to do the sunlight thing but I got nervous so I didn't leave it out um, I'm not, I don't have access to a UV ray light like usually that's like the nail salon thing I don't have access to that and I'm not gonna go to a nail salon hey can I borrow your light or can I put my phone underneath your light rope for however long uh, but that's not the issue anyways but the in the email that I got from the support there was one excuse is what I'm gonna call it is at the bottom of the screen because of the minimal bezel and the thinness of the device basically how they had to construct the internals is that the buttons at the bottom of the backlights basically bleed into the screen and I could see that more of a more of a legitimate excuse of why we see that yellow tint because they don't have any way to block that light going into the screen to create another form of light so that's been my experience with that and I don't think there is a fix to it unfortunately if you have a device that has the yellow tint it's really unfortunate because it's just hard to get good customer support and get a replacement so I'm going to continue to try to work with support and I have a ticket open right now so trying to work through that it's not a very fast or speedy process by any means so when I find out more information I'll post it when I get that information so those were the two questions and I hope that it helps answer those questions. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below or hit me up on the social networks. Please pardon this video like it's actually a straight upload right to YouTube from my Note 3. I'm going to upload it using my 4G LTE with Verizon while I can, try to <laughs> eat up that data while I can. But my computer has just been giving me fits today, I've tried to load a video and through actually recording with my Note 3 at one point, that was the second try. My first try was with my you know normal Nikon camera and it just, the audio is not syncing right, it's not loading right, exporting or importing right, it's just been a nightmare today. So, And then like once I are able to try to do a video like this, uh, the third time around, this is actually the fourth attempt to try to make this video, is that it starts a thunderstorm to wake up my boy so I can even make a video so I had to wait till my wife comes home and thankfully she's willing to watch the kids while I make the short video and actually cook dinner for me too so big shout out to my wife she makes this video possible amongst the other stuff that Bain Tech does behind the scenes uh, anyways again part of my little apology but understand like this is not the normal if this is the first time that you've chimed in for this Axe Bane video series because normally I stumble over all my words and I edit all that stuff out but this is just a straight take straight upload to YouTube so anyways subscribe for hopefully not so much more videos like this but more professional ones and more put together edited videos in the future <laughs> thanks guys for watching give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video